Welcome to the last week of the first trimester, week 12. You've 28 more weeks to go. Your little strawberry-sized baby is now about the size of a plum. They're 2.1 inches or 5.4 centimeters, and they weigh 2 ounces or 58 grams. Your baby can open its mouth and wiggle its little fingers and toes. Brain development is in high gear, nerve cells multiply rapidly, and synapses start firing. This week marks a turning point for your baby, and they go from developing new bodily structures to the maintenance phase. Your baby will continue to mature the systems that are already set up and get all the organs to function before birth. Your baby's digestive system is beginning to practice contraction movements, which your baby's going to need at birth to digest food. And your baby's bone marrow is busy making white blood cells to help your baby fight infection. Your uterus has moved from the pelvic floor to the front of your abdomen. The good news is that shift may temporarily ease the pressure on your bladder. Between now and week 16, your lower uterine corpus unfolds, and that's going to allow your uterus to become more spherical. This allows more room for your baby with minimal stretching of the uterus. There are some common oral health conditions that can happen in pregnancy. Approximately 40% of pregnant women have some form of periodontal disease. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists recommends that you see a dentist during your pregnancy and state that cleanings and x-rays are safe, so make dental care a priority and schedule an appointment. Did you know that your feet can actually go up a shoe size during pregnancy? This is just one of many issues that can affect your feet when you're pregnant. The good news is there are things that you can do to get some relief if you're dealing with foot issues, plus simple things you can do to prevent these issues from happening in the first place. Physical changes like gaining weight, hormonal changes like the release of relaxin can lead to problems ranging from mild discomfort to severe pain. Some problems like a decrease or loss of your arch can cause permanent changes to the structure of your feet. This is the last week of the first trimester, and you're almost one-third of the way there. If you've been dealing with challenging symptoms like morning sickness and tender breasts, you may find relief knowing that these symptoms will fade in the next trimester. Tip for dads and partners, the next trimester should bring your significant other some relief from the ailments that she's been dealing with over the previous 12 weeks. Enjoy the second trimester. It will probably be your partner's favorite. Take advantage of their higher energy levels and more even-keeled moods. The second trimester is also the ideal time frame for travel or a baby moon. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support.